Hi everybody, this is Salesforce Gem and I'd like to talk about Experience Cloud. And most of my videos are about Aura sites. So if I'm gonna go to my setup menu and I went to all sites, um, I do have an extension that I use, a Chrome extension that takes me there. It is called Y Salesforce. And this is it right here. That is how I created the tabs. Otherwise, you can type in all sites here and get there the same way. So I typically work with Aura sites, okay? But I've been getting some questions that are around the LWC sites or the LWR, sorry, Lightning Web Runtime sites. One of the questions specifically that I was asked was about the community logo. So let me show you what that looks like in a non LWR site. So in an Aura site, if you were going to change the logo, you go up here to the top left to the paintbrush says theme, you go to images and you go to login pages and then you can work on the background image here. And then the actual logo is under your admin settings. And you go to admin settings and you go to login and registration and you adjust your logo here. And that is what they call the community logo. Let's go back to the builder. Let me show you on the Aura site. And then if I were going to go to my login page, I just click login. And right here, I used a rich content editor to add mine, but you can also use the community logo, which is this component, and you would drag it out. And that's where that logo comes from. I'm not currently using it on my site, so I don't need that, but I could do that. Now I want to show you an LWR site. So if I go into the builder, this is definitely an advanced video. If you have never created an Experience Cloud site, I would go watch Create an Experience Cloud Site Step-by-Step, -step, which uses Aura which is more of a drag and drop interface. When you log into a Lightning Web Runtime site, it's very blank because you're gonna do a lot of the coding yourself. But if I were to go to the login page here, I have to click the carrot and then go to login because you're gonna set each of these differently. You'll have already needed to set up a CMS, which is a content management system. I will show you in the end on, if you've never set it, a tutorial to do that, but we're not gonna go into that today. And if I were, have not been here before, we're going to take that off because I've already added it, but I could add site logo and that's the component you saw that was on the page. However, the image, oh, there we go. Sorry, I dragged it twice. The image I uploaded a different way. So the first thing is the image upload is if you go to the top left, go to theme, go to images, it says site logo. Now, to add a site logo, you click on it and it takes you to your CMS. Now, I had already done this earlier. I connected a CMS channel called LWC Portal Channel. There are other ones if I wanted to connect. And I hit Add Content and all I did was fill in this information. Okay? And that's how I came up with my little Astro. And of course, my Astro is huge. You would want to upload more of it like a, it's usually around 250 by 150. Um, pixel image. So, but I went ahead and uploaded it just to show this example. So that's what I did first. Then you drag your component out, which we call the site logo here, and you'll see it, but it doesn't quite look right yet. So I do have some information here that I can um, fill out in the right side. There's a, a box that gives me more. So I can make a background if I want, um, select an image from the CMS from the background if I want. I could use an URL. Um, I could enter my alt text and then it has attributes for mobile and for um, the image right here and see he's on the left. So I want the horizontal alignment to be in the center. You see that? I'm going to move it to the center. And again, here it tells you the logo width can be up to 250 wide because that's as big as you're going to get it. I could go smaller. Let's see what happens. Yep, this is where I can adjust it. So this is kind of fun. Um, if I don't adjust or upload the correct size. Um, and then I have other options here to do the style. 
Um, this is where in an LWR site, you have more control over certain features. So I could do that and the visibility. Do I want it on desktop? Yes. Um, and then I can set up visibility rules. And that looks like this. Okay. So there's my logo. Easy peasy. But you do have to set some things up first. So I'm going to show you on my portfolio. I will link at the bottom. If you go to the build your brand page, if you've never set up a CMS, there's right here. Um, I have it right here, how to use Salesforce CMS in a community. It is a video walkthrough. It's very good. It is not mine, but this is how I learned. And that'll help you set up your CMS. So you definitely want to do that. And then you can add your logo to the login page. And then if I were to go to maybe the forgot password page here, a site logo, this was already on the page. I didn't drag it out um, by nature. Some of them have them already, but I have to readjust what he looks like here, Astro. So we're going to go to image attributes. We're going to move them to the center and then I'm going to resize him down. So you have to do it for each page. Let's go to 105. There we go. And then you can preview it and look there. So that's just one small thing you can do with a LWR site. He does look really cute there. I will link um, this page or this here and you can look at other things that help you. Um, and hopefully in the future, I can make more LWR videos.